Today, community members in Cameron, Shatek, and beyond are working to process this tragedy. First News at Nine's Daniel Gomez shares how people are remembering these two officers and paying respects to their families. This is the scene right off of Highway 8 and County Road SS near the village of Cameron in Barron County where an officer with the Shatek Police Department and one officer with Cameron Police were shot and killed Saturday afternoon. Now two communities are mourning their loss. Danny Keith says it's rare for such a tragedy to occur. It's just stuff like that doesn't happen around here very much at all. And so in the very rare event that it does, it's just a huge shock to the community. A lot of the people around here do know the cops personally, so I'm sure that's gonna really hurt a lot of people for sure, and their families too. Just down that same road where the two officers lost their lives in the line of duty, the squad car of one fallen officer is parked next to the police station in the city of Shatek. It now serves as a memorial for everyone to pay their respects. Some community members still trying to process what happened. I always kind of thought that, that why does they have to be do that kind of stuff? I mean, what, what, if they didn't want to do this, doing, this, doing their job, it's going to be hard on me when I see that squad car. <laughs> Until I see that car. Lori and Matt Deering drove all the way from Wisconsin Rapids to honor the fallen officers. Oh, yeah. The Deerings have two sons in blue. And I know every day that they go out and risk their lives, put their lives on the line, and then this happens, and, that, and it just hits home, and I just know how real it can be. Life is so precious. <laughs> and then to see it, it gone so quickly and... and it's just, it's just heartbreaking. And so I just, just to know that, that we stand with them and, and with the department and, I mean, it just reverberates. I mean, I know it's a family nationally and even in, an, in a small community. And I admire the dedication knowing all of that uncertainty and still being able to, to step into that role every day. In the wake of these losses, community members like Nick F. Bell says offering condolences is all anyone can do right now. Let's just keep the families in our prayers and uh, continue to back the blue. Around the state, first responders are also sending their support to the Cameron and Chitek communities. In a post to its Facebook page, the Kadat Police Department writes, in part, there are no words that can help make sense of this loss. Finding the words to write this is difficult. The Wisconsin State Patrol posting to its social media saying, with heavy hearts, our deepest condolences to the Shatek Police Department, Village of Cameron Police Department, and the communities they serve. Governor Evers also tweeting today in part, Kathy and I are praying for the officers' families, colleagues, and the Barron County community mourning this tragic loss.